Hey everybody, welcome back to the Professor's Dugout. I hope you are having a great day. Today's video is another case break summary I got into with Greenies Cards Breaks for 2022. Tops Tribute, one of the nicest looking sets. Tops produces year in and year out. All acetate cards on premium, premium stock. Um, really nice looking cards and in each box you get three autos and three three uh, uh, mem cards and six, uh, six uh, boxes per case. Uh, a little bit on the pricey side. That's why this one works pretty well in breaks, which is why I get into several. Maybe I'll buy a box. A little pricey this year at 400 I think it's a better value at around 300 So let's take a look. Let's see what we got. For this case break, since this is my, my second case, I got the, uh, the, the Angels, the Braves, and the Brewers. So let's go ahead. Let's start and take a look. We'll start with the, with the Angels. We got three Mike Trout base cards, two Shohei Otani base cards. Those are always nice to get those. And we got a stadium relic from the old Angels Stadium. So this is a seat of some sort, probably, or maybe the piece of a um, piece of the you know, the wall. Um, but autographed by Tim Salmon. So unfortunately, not the right angel that we were looking for, but still really nice card nonetheless. Those are low numbered. This one is numbered 27 out of 50. So it would have been awesome if it would have been a trout. I would have gone bonkers. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Uh, next for the Braves, uh, we got base cards for, for Dale Murphy and Ronald Acuna. Just love the look and the design of these base cards. Um, then we got a green parallel for Ronald Acuna Jr. That is my second one. This one is numbered 69 out of 99. And then for relic and mem cards, we got a relic card of John Smoltz, um, numbered 108 out of 199. A couple jersey pieces and a bat. Not going to see pitchers with uh, bat pieces much longer with, uh, uh, with now both leagues having the DH. Um, did get a dual relic for Chipper Jones, and that is numbered 5 out of 25. So nice orange parallel, low numbered. Uh, one jersey piece, one bat piece. And we got an Iconic Perspectives autograph from John Smoltz. This is, I believe, is the red parallel, and that is numbered, if you can see there, 10 out of 10. Nice looking card overall. Um... Just gorgeous. Love, love Topps Tribute. Okay, and now for the Milwaukee Brewers, I actually did not get any, like, just regular base cards, which is kind of crazy. But I did get three additional cards. I got a stamp of approval for Josh Hader, and that is number, that's the green parallel, numbered out of 99. And you can take that code on that mem piece and find out specifically which game this piece of uniform was from and you can look at the bat uh the the box score of that by going to mlb.com slash authentication so that's always kind of cool to get those types of cards then we got a purple parallel autograph for josh Hader, numbered 45 out of 50 so another nice cool clean looking auto oh my gosh lots of good stuff but by far my favorite my favorite card out of this, if you follow my channel, you know I am a huge Robin Yount fan. Uh, and lo and behold, out of this case break, I did get the tribute to MVPs for Robin Yount, 1982 and 1989 AL MVP. That is numbered 11 out of 29. This is the orange parallel. There's like three or four different there's like the base plus I think three other parallels that you can get. Cool little shadow box type look to it. Um, so you got that nice auto on the surface and then you got like that uh, background image there. Really, really cool. Great looking cards and love this absolute set. Love Topps Tribute. Absolutely love Topps Tribute. So what do you think about Topps Tribute? How do you think I did in this break? Go ahead, leave a comment below. Smash that like and subscribe button right down there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Continue to stay safe out there, and I will see you later.